Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Hey, sir, first mate right here. Uh, what happened to the game? 
And I'm guessing the source here got switched off, whilst the one in the pre-scene didn't. Like, I'm pressing the button now, which should swap them around, but apparently not. So let me... Uh, let's yeah, see. Yeah, while, you, while you fix that, I will... I will thank two new followers here, apparently. Thank you, Legstorm and Jeremiah Scott Norris for following. Uh, let, let's see. Okay, there we go. Now, what? Did that? Did something break? Shut down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Now it's in the right place. Uh, uh, sorry, just some quick, uh, just some quick troubleshooting. Okay, for some reason, hmm. Let's see. Is okay, something with the stream deck must have uh, messed up. And hello, Glacier Boy. Hope you're doing well. Uh, anyways, I'll fix that after the stream. Uh, hopefully, hello, stream deck Glacier doesn't boy. break any further. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Uh, Welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Inferno Machine, our eighth stream of this, if my count is still correct. And we're in King Solomon's Mines. And we're being hunted down by <laughs> a fat Russian and, well, his less fat uh, soldiers. So, uh, yeah, we've got to get deeper into this place, find the last of the Inferno Machine parts, and then, well see about getting that thing to work without, well, everything going to hell. Or the infernal. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Give me a second. Got a bot to swat. Uh, to swat. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I typically don't have the chat bot or the chat program here active during this. But I'll make an exception just to get rid of this one. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Slash then. Clench. Grena, I think that is. Uh, a bit hard to read with the backgrounds. There we go. Okay, close that back off. And back to the game. Uh, yeah, I, one of these days I should try to go through as many known bots as there are and just ban them all to get rid of them all. And hey, right. that's kind of hard to begin with. Probably, since there's literally freaking thousands of them. But it might help, well, a little bit. Emphasis on little. <laughs> but at the very least, it'll, feel, it'll make me feel better if I just get rid of a bunch of them. Okay. Um, yeah, we're in those mines where a German before the, the Second World War had set up a mining operation in the place, which is why there's all of this uh, track around. Uh, but we need to get deeper into the mines. But for that, we need to fix the system. Because at the moment, one of the rails... One of the switch points, I forget the exact name, is non functional and stuck in the wrong way. Uh, let's take a stop here and check up there. So we are being hunted in here, so gotta be ready to fight. What's that? Nice. It got with that AR. This door is locked. Engine-driven uh, mine cars. Like I expect that to be today, but this one definitely looks kind of like a real thing. I wouldn't be surprised. And well, those thing, those things do have to go back up uh, after they go down in the mine and such. And they don't always will. I don't think they'll always have lifts available for that. Yeah. Get out and get gunning. Grenade. 
I'm gonna be surprised if that is one of those earliest variants of the motorized cards. <laughs> that did a little, that <laughs> quite a bit more than I expected. Did he just attack you with a bazooka? No, I think that was a grenade that went off early or something. So I'm pretty sure we should be the only ones with the bazooka. Actually, full power, get some distance. Yeah, especially distance from the grenades. And now we go hunting. Hey, Tim. Sit still. There we go. Yep. Dumbass blew himself up. Okay. Why am I not surprised? Let's see. It's been a bit since last we played. We have these three parts, but nothing more than that at the moment. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we'll need to find something around here to fix the system. But we'll first have to figure out what we'll need to fix exactly. Hello. Some more firepower. Satchel charges to be exact. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Great. Hmm. This won't end well. <laughs> Did they actually have C4 back in the 40s? I think that's more recent than that. Well, this is after the war. True. Uh, let's see. Where? There's that guy's pistol. Not like that. Okay. No. It might be bad. It might be best if we head back to the start for the moment. Yep. Immediately where we arrive, and take a picture of the map. So we know at least where to, we, uh, where we'll probably find some new stuff at the very least. Mm. Also, the bazooka is this one. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Yeah, let's not try to use it in close quarters. Please don't. Oh. Hello, big boy. Hey, there's another car on the tracks. The Reds must have followed me. Uh, you're standing over a dead one. And does he not have a gun? Okay. Um. Okay, the, the green dot shows where they are. And that should mean that they're passing through here. Okay, they don't actually physically move around, it seems. What? Um... They are physically... Uh, their, their lights are flashing uh, on and off. Yeah. Let's see, I think this restores the original circuit. And give me a moment to take a picture of this. Is it? Hmm. Why would they have a, another cart on here? Or, um, hmm. Okay. Photo. Keep that one down here in front of me. I wonder if we can actually encounter them. Or, yeah, if there's something else we need to do with them. <laughs> Take a look at Shatty hey, Lil. <laughs> what gave you that idea, Dr. Jones? <laughs> the corpse or the dozen others you let killed already? Okay. Let's have ourselves a look. There's the generator. We we already fixed that, I think. Yeah, otherwise the Nothing here would work in the first place. Okay, we go here. We don't bonk our heads this time. <laughs> but we definitely bonk him. 
need to put them on. Okay, so we can't he out. arise. Hello, Rom. Uh, hey, Rom. We just hit and ran a Russian with a minecart. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe that's where they go to from. Probably. Yeah. Hope you're doing well? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. Uh, let's head back there so we can collect the loot and get rid of that other one that we couldn't hit and run. And oh, yeah, we, bas we basically need to play engineer in this area. There is his gun. And try and fix it. There we Apparently there's another cart full of Russians rushing around the place. So we'll probably have to deal with them. <laughs> I don't think a helmet would have <laughs> saved him from getting <laughs> caught up like Susie. Yes. Uh, well, it might help a little bit from the pipes. Probably not. There we go. Oh dear God. No. Um, is there actually... I'm pretty sure we looked around from here before. Yeah, that's the entrance. We need to get to new areas. So let's help back in. Back to the control point And see what else we can swap around. Next. Stop it here. Yeah, we, we have to... We have to move this thing so it basically has a gear system. No. Okay, they're over there. I think I think I have somewhat of a memory that we need to send them into somewhere. Uh let's see. Number two. I don't think I'm we've tried by this one. On the wrist. So, let's see. We need to head over there. So we need to get number four to work. Because at the moment it's stuck. Now, we've also got that area over there. We, I think, passed through. Mm, let's, let's swap number two. Or not number, <laughs> number three. So we can move over another time there. Okay, we're decently hurt, but we still have at least a, a full circle and a half to go. Where is this going to bring us now? Probably need more Russians. Probably. <clears throat> Generator still. Oops. And then the next one here. Go straight. I question why the unknowns are mainly that love making puns. Uh <laughs> opposites attract. Perhaps. And uh Yeah. Bridge out. So I'm pretty sure this is where we have to send them. <laughs> okay, this was after number one. Oh. Beep, beep, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this place is full of spiders. Oh, blood. Yeah, yes. That was a horrible part, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a good enough one. No. Uh, I still don't like guns. What? I still don't like guns. Wait. You don't like puns? No, I don't like puns. Why? Aha. Uh -huh. Boy, I'm pretty sure yeah. you've been trying to kill me with puns as well. Never said I wasn't a hypocrite. <laughs> Uh, um, can we walk over that? I'm going to save specifically for <laughs> <Something>. that. 
Uh, at least he's honest about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, God. Damn it. Uh. Eat the red smoke the red smoke the green herb. Uh, let's you ever see. How the hell how the herbs are used in Resident Evil? I probably snorted. It. I was going to if I said smoke, it would have been a perfect time for that guy to pop up and try to smoke us with his gun. Yeah. <laughs> I think I he's mean, been through here before. In the first few in games, the there you are supposed to be like... Oh, you might want to heal up. Yep. yep. Oh, trauma kids. Lay. Next. Hold on. Can this thing be changed manually? Shooting it. there's the thing on the side. I don't think shooting it is going to work. I mean, it works in Half-Life, so... I just guess. You should have worked in movies, too. Nope. Let's see. That would send us over this way at the moment. Ooh. And where does this lead? We need to send that cart over... Yeah, we I need mean, to send that cart over this way. Yeah. Or uh, I mean, in Resident Evil 5, you apparently, like, made a it. spray out of, like, the herbs and shit. When you, like, mix the herbs. True. Yeah. really explain how the hell you... Do the original few games. I mean, my best guess outside of the joke about it, about smoking it, is that you, like crush the herbs and put them on the wounds. Probably. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, yeah, this one is set the right way already. We just need to fix number four over here. I can't throw this switch. No wonder. It needs some grease. Okay. Can you have a dead guy and pour his blood on it so, it can, so we can just get this over with faster? Uh, I'm not sure that would work. If they didn't disappear. I feel like pouring blood on it may break it. Yeah, Resident Evil 7 and 8, you pour goop uh, juice on your hand. There is actually a reason for that, but it's a spoiler. Yeah, but it's funny when you're like doing whatever and there's like a quick heal button and you're like, I need to pull out my gun, quick heal, and and fucking and Ethan just pours the bottle of like healing fluid on his arm. It's like, God damn it, that's not what I meant to do. A medical kit. Uh, the Far Cry games got a bit uh, known for. Many very uh, a big variation of healing animations, specifically with well pulling stuff like shrapnel out of you and such. Oh, that is new. Okay, luckily, this thing also has a reverse. Pull shrapnel. You pull shrapnel. You reset hey. your fingers. A medical kit. You jam a stick into a bullet wound so you can pull out the bullet. Yeah. It is a not for the squeamish. For those that know how medicine works, because a good chunk of the things you do in Far Cry are not actually, you know, things you should do if you're ever in that situation. Yeah. Maybe uh, reset your fingers, but even then, you'd probably want to like put them back in place and then put a, like um, a splint on them and get medical help. Yeah, or just pull uh, pull a knife out of you if it's it it would um, on first thought it would be the smart thing to do quote unquote but at the same time it could be uh, what is the word staunch the bleeding like it basically like if the knife is stuck in you 
you actually do not want to remove it because, well, it keeps you from bleeding out too much. Yeah. It, it basically so functions best... like a very sharp cork. Yeah. So the best hope you can do is that you just try to keep pressure on the wound as best you can and not pull out the knife. Yeah. Or stab yourself deeper onto it. This looks like or a place where we exit. Or jam the knife, you know, deeper. I actually, funny thing is, this also just apply to knives. It's like if you get stabbed with something large, it's best to just get medical help and do not remove it. And I know this because you guys know the game uh, Long Live the Queen, right? I know it. I haven't actually ever gotten any far in that. Neither have I, but basically, on one of my runs, on my first actual run, what happened was I got Elodie into figuring out that medicine is a good thing, but I didn't get her far enough into figuring out some of the basics. So in a situation where she got like caught in, a, in an ambush, she gets hit with an arrow in the god and figures the best and knows that pulling out the arrow is a bad idea. But she doesn't think it through, so she jams the arrow deeper and bleeds out faster. Oh. Yeah, that your character in that uh, is a bit of an idiot most of the time, and that is exactly what you need to train her and teach her about stuff like that. And we've found some sort of... Yeah, we need to get it's those long? bars open somehow. Only Question is, queen. where? I'm not sure if I have heard of it or not. It's like one of those uh, ex-trainer games, but it's uh, a princess you are training. Oh, I think I know which one. That's pretty old by now, ain't it? Probably 10 plus years. I didn't even know that became popular. Uh, let's see, where the hell... Um, Wrap that let's along see, the way. Lazy boy has written something that I can't read at the moment. Problem with resetting something is when you do it wrong and have to, uh, <clears throat> have to have it reset again. True. But if you are in a life or death situation and you... It would probably be best to reset like an arm or something. Or at least your shoulder or uh, uh, joint or something. So they can actually make some use of it. But it is all a depends on situation thing. Like, it's always a situational thing. The best you can really do is get medical help. It's always the best you can do. Yeah, someone who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, if possible. Hmm. Speaking of, I should probably uh, take one of those first aid uh, courses sometime. Uh, I know my mother has gone through those. Mom also wants to go through at least one of those. Pretty and honestly, I've been thinking about doing that as well. Actually, I've been thinking about yeah, I've been thinking about like taking at least basic first aid. Just in case. Uh oh. Hey, look, it's the Russian chasing you. You know. Uh, I can't pull out my guns. I need to find a better spot. And duck them in my guess. Okay. I guess this is the time where we change the switch so they eye off a cliff. Yeah, I would, but we need to swap number four, but it's stuck. So we need to find grease somewhere. Or grease substitutes. Um, yeah, we didn't really get to explore part of that due to the cinematic. So, uh, let's hope they don't come around and shoot us in the back. We just try and get there again. Don't we already have grease? Oh, what the? Oh, oh. Uh, F. <laughs> Never mind, maybe Grease is in there also. 
All you two idiots! TNT! C4 against a fence? Actually, they were just trying. Actually, they were just trying to stop you. Blowing a hole in the fence was accidental. Now what? Perhaps, okay. but still. Big ass key. Okay, uh, that's made quite the hazard here. Uh, hmm. We can't turn the generator off or we'll lose all power through switches. Is there something we can move around here to redirect that? We can't push that. Are we really just going to have to get shocked? Because there's no way to get in there. Wait. Can we drive backwards? Uh, we can, but there's no pressure plate to open the gate on this side. That's what those squares have been on the front uh, before the doors. Pressure plates to open up the, the next gate. Okay. Okay, I can't tell if that was just timing or if it was not actually supposed to hurt or not. Good question, and finally, Glacier Boy, you said, hmm, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, just destabilize a mine to get rid of a fence. Ow. I moved my hand away for one second. <laughs> it gives us a migraine. That's a chunk of revelation. <laughs> Uh, oh. Before I forget, uh, wrong? Yeah. Are you available for Banana Domain later today? Uh, hmm? I don't think so. We're gonna be moving a bunch of shit because. Long story short. Um, God damn it. We're, we're looking to arrange the. Um, the house, so everything inside has to come into the rooms, or in order to have the guy, have the, like the guy set up the floor, so we can just finally have a floor that we haven't had in months. Okay, no worries. And we're basically gonna be moving a bunch of stuff. We're not gonna be moving everything outside into the rooms yet, but we are moving some of the stuff into my brother's room, and it's. It's gonna take a while, and even then, my... So, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. If yeah, yeah I, I misread my uh, my work schedule. I have tomorrow off, so we're gonna do it at least an afternoon stream then. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can probably do a binary domain tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Trying to stop early this time. Also, I've been thinking about about gears of war for some reason. Okay. You know, as I mentioned in the last stream, I was off. Yeah. Oh, I, was I can't remember. Um. No, wait. I wasn't a stream. It was just you playing. Was I figure. If you ever decide to play it, can we flip a coin to see who gets to be player one each game? Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. A medical kit. I'm guessing in the perspective, you get this first if you're one or two, or does it, is there something else? Honestly, I just, uh, I'm the one that's slightly more used to Gears because I played like the third game. What's this? I haven't played the first Hello game. Can. Or the second game, or Judgment, or four, or five. <laughs> but many. Or Gears, but no, I'm out of... I think I'm the one with the slightly higher amount of knowledge. Look so I don't I know, found. I guess I can just play First aid. Player one in gears. Some more firepower. One at least. And gears A grenade. three. Or then okay. again, given judgment is also include how about this? I go for the unevens, you go for the even ones. Okay. We've oh. got Chris now. Hey! 
But yeah, we, we can put uh, gear, the Gears of War series, or at least the ones that are on PC available at the moment. Or and in that up, case, the, the, the remake of the, just the remake of the first, then the fourth game, and then the fifth game. Okay. Or yeah, we'll have to see which we can st uh, stream. Uh, we'll give if you, you have an Xbox to... 360, we can probably do the. Uh, the second, third, and judgment as well. Okay. I'll just need... I think it's a 360. Uh, I, I really need to go through my collection of consoles and finally check uh, which ones actually work and which are basically just show models. <clears throat> yeah, you, you might want to well, do see that. That changes my luck. Let me actually take a... Yeah, that's a 360. It's literally on the wall behind me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, check if it works, and then, I don't know, I guess we'd have to get a Xbox Live Gold account. Uh, and yeah. the annoying for the 360. Actually, I have to check mine in as well. It, it had a weird problem where it doesn't connect to the internet. I'll just go and have it checked later. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't expect us to do Gears of War this month, so I don't know. Yeah, we still have a few games planned in with you. Uh, fuck. They're just blowing up the mine to make sure you don't come out, apparently. Apparently. Or maybe we ran it. Maybe the air cart was there for some reason or something. Oh, oh, oh no, the, the fuckers are just respawning as well, it seems. I feel like whenever most times I hear people talking about Xbox, it's most of the time about uh, how often they break or have some weird technical issue. Yeah, the red ring of death. Yeah, the original had the red ring of death issue. Honestly, mine might just be that a part of it is like because the console can turn on. So it's not like it doesn't work, it's that it can't really connect to the internet. Yep. I was going to say now we wait, but uh, they're just oh, rushing look. around. And you just did uh, Glacier Boys joke earlier. Yep. Ah! Get fucked, Boris. Uh. Better throw this back. Why? Just to be safe. Okay. Hmm. Can we get Why? To make sure to get rid of the spinning Russians. Why did that explode? <laughs> because yeah, everything in this game explodes. I mean, if you played Goldeneye, you shoot everything and somehow a fucking clock will explode and like, like it was filled with grenades. Yeah, we had a walkway fall down into lava and it went up. <laughs> Like a hand grenade. Uh, in, in this case, it makes some sort of sense, since, well, he's carrying around a lot of guns and a lot of gunpowder, so it would make sense for that to explode, but just wooden beams. Uh, but yeah, the explosions are mainly there to hide them despawning the stuff. I'm guessing, and well, dramatic effect as well, yeah. That's a trick a lot of people use. Oh, by the way, uh, Gears 4 is available on PC, but you have to buy it through the Windows Store. Okay. Also, which type of UI have? Uh, um, 10? Hmm? Uh, I have Windows, Windows 10. 10, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's for like Windows 10, like the remake of the first one and the, uh, the second one, and the fourth one on PC is on... The remake of the first one is on... Win for, it's for Windows 10, and the fourth one is... I, I'm pretty sure it's just Windows 10. You can probably buy them. I just need to check a lot of shit. Just... Okay. Uh, uh, I had to read this out loud from Glacier Boy. 
Indiana yeah. Jones and the Infernal Machine, directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I've said it a few times now, but I would, I would really like it if they did a remake of this uh, game, uh, even just a re-release. Uh, okay, we're supposed to find something there. That seems pretty clear. But what then? Hmm. Oh, oh, it's it's a grenadier. Hmm. Okay, another round trip then to try and find out what the hell we need to do now. Actually, let me double check the map. Is there an X anywhere? Um, not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Let me go through here. distracted by that. Okay, yeah, there. Hmm. Where is that exactly? Let's see. Oop, let's not forget the duck. Okay, we, we've been here, but I didn't get to see too much. There's an idol in there. So how do we get in there? You crawl? Yes. Hmm. There's a pressure plate here. But... Hmm. Wait. Can we... No. Hmm. Okay, the pressure plates are at the entrances. Or the way you're supposed to get into the doors. So if we go up here... And then back up... Does it send us back the same way, or...? No! Oh, okay! <coughs> okay, that, that, w that was clever. It, you have to figure this one out yourself a bit by, well, realizing that the pressure plates open up the doors and such. Well, I'm not entirely sure if we're supposed to come in backwards here. Actually... We probably do. Uh, this is a new room. Yeah. Let's well, see. time to see what's in um, ancient Egypt. Uh, yeah, this Water. is in the Egyptian region. Pink Solomon and all that. And now on the That's other side. Uh, I think we're in Nubia. Uh, yeah, same region-ish. I say as someone who has completely failed geography. Should be close enough. And here's our idol. Mm. Also, I found out that now if what? you buy Gears of idol. War 4 on the, on the Microsoft Store, apparently you're buying it for Xbox One and PC. Yeah, you're buying it on your Xbox account, which is, well, on if you set it up on all the consoles. So, in a way, that is pretty good. Better than what could be expected of Microsoft in many cases. Typically, they ask you to buy each edition separately. Yeah. Maybe I sit down. Okay. Okay, so another. We need to whip those things, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure open means open, not up. I know that there's ober, with an R, which means over. I'm pretty sure. I'm Again, I'm not good with German either, but I knows some basics of it, which is being very similar to Dutch. Oh, so the Nazis were here before, and then the war ended. Yeah, private contractors more. 
<laughs> Hopefully. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Strange key. Come the eye of Ra. All right then. All right. All right. It's under Egypt. Okay. So yes, we are close to Egypt. Just now we know on which side of Egypt, basically. Let's see. I doubt we can get to the other one. Let's see. Where is it going? To... Okay, there is nothing behind the other one either. Uh, anyways. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Fifth year game, and it's um, that's funny for me. It's um, like rain, failed to work for the team. Rain, over, and you. Uh, yeah, do excuse Rama a bit. He is uh, living eight hours away from uh in a time zone eight hours away, so okay. it is about 7.40 for you at the moment. 9.41, but I'm still kind of deep. Okay. Figuring out where to go is so much easier now that I actually know that this game has a map. <clears throat> Something around here? Hmm. I'll take that. <clears throat> Done. Uh, but yeah, let's see. What games do we have planned at the moment? Uh, the rest of the Indiana... Uh, the rest of the Indiana Jones uh, games, or well, the in the other Indiana Jones 3D game, so Emperor's Tomb. I hope this isn't the end of the line. Uh, think, uh, Tomb Raider no, Legend. Doing... Yeah, Tomb Raider and Prince of Persia. Yep. Yeah, and we also have uh, Doom: Dawn of War. Which Doom exactly? 2016 or the original? Uh, 2016 and inter eternal. I almost this said internal. Is ready to come. Uh, yeah, we we can put gears of war in somewhere. Okay, just shove that motherfucker. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? It's always snakes. It's always snakes. At least you get a gun. Okay, but yeah, we can. S <clears throat> I, I had a bit of a idea for a schedule to go with games, but we can change that up, of course. Uh, we do, I don't know, Gears in a, I don't know, a couple of few months from now. I still gotta check my Xbox and... What have we here? One of King Saul's jewels. Now what? Get second game and judgment. So, yeah. <laughs> no, he actually reacts to that. <laughs> also, how the hell were can... you supposed to get in here normally? Um, you aren't? Or Probably. maybe C4. What's okay. this? Dead end, a bit literally for one person. I saw you like a fuck. Let's see. And now to head over that way. But yeah, we can see when we can put in the games. Well, hmm. probably we need to also investigate that it still works and it wants to be uh, work OBS and screen, screen caption and all of that. Yeah. I, I do. Most of the time, it, if a game can be made to work in windowed mode, it'll behave itself for the most part. Why? Really? It, the, fuck, the fucker bit me on the way down. Unless, fuck you, apparently. Yep. Fuck me double, it seems. Uh. Even more... 
get that one before he even lands. <laughs> What's <laughs> this? It's a wall, Dr. Jones. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear God. Uh, see, I was a little bit of ge uh, Gears of War lore recently, just because I was curious. And I keep forgetting how dark that series is. Yeah, it's not just literally in the, the post, post. Well, it's literally the post apocalypse in which the Imperium of, of Man Light is trying to stop fucking orc from underground orc from killing them all. Oop, over there. That's one way of phrasing it. Let's see. And it gets fucked up in, like, some extra side material. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of them uh, mentioned in videos, and I feel, I feel like... How were they able to... Yeah, make this game with this uh, material? They started with, like, just the first game, and then let other people do oh. side material, but they mostly just focused on the games. Okay, I thought the this isn't like a Halo. In. This isn't like the Halo, like the three four three industries Halo era, where it's like, oh, you gotta read up on all this lore stuff to understand why all this is happening. It's more like, play the games, good, you're caught up to speed. All right. <laughs> That's one way to say it. The side content is nice, but it should never be a requirement. If you are going to reference it, just have now. Also have uh, something to show, oh, to be, something to recap what actually happened there, so you don't force people to buy mm. things for context. Some medicine. What's kind of funny is that in the DLC for three, there's a there's a single player setup that has a bunch of characters that are extras and I think and one of them the one that takes the player three seat the player one seat is um uh, is a comic character but is actually introduced enough in like the DLC that you know you don't feel like you're you're missing anything by not knowing what happens to him in the comic. It's point four. Alright. We had to put it bluntly, uh, the cog, the quote unquote good guys aren't really the good guys. They're just sort of the best hope we've got to survive. Yep. He oh, got poisoned yep. again. A sense of trap. I that didn't good. actually, even though that thing just dropped down right on top of us. <laughs> okay. Spider jump scare. I'm gonna call it jump scare. Okay. The hey. doctor's spider sense is going off. So what might be around here that could crush, kill, or otherwise just annihilate us and make our give us a bad day? The ruby? That's a ruby? I thought it was a highlighted explosive. How much you want to really? pick that up? There's a pit there. Into the you fall into the hole. Wait, Look what I found. Another jewel. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Okay, Wait, hold on. Let's take a moment on the biscuit. Those landed weirdly neatly. Yeah, I I'm guessing. Uh... Some ancient Nubian also invented Tetris or something? Yeah, the, the... I love the, when the... your architecture fails in such a way that it looks Snakes. like Tetris. Yeah, the... Oh, I don't know if that should be impressed or concerned. Yes. <laughs> uh, it wasn't an explosive. It, it would have explosively compressed us. But, uh, yeah, no boom, at least. Okay. Nope. 
There we go. Actually, I'm pulling out the mouser for this. And it basically wasn't needed. <laughs> okay. Wait, you're using a mouse to kill rats? Uh, no, wait. A mouse to kill snakes, I mean. <laughs> it would have been uh, fittingly ironic. Then another. Hmm. Any ambush? What oh, it actually puts us up here. Okay. There we go. Okay, this time no spider nibbles. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. So once the cough there mid sentence. Yeah. Uh, we... Yeah. Go ahead. I think I misheard you again. What did you hear this time then? Basically, my brain translated the bees into peas. So. Spider nipples. <laughs> oh, wait, we're not playing DD here. Ah, there's the axe. Okay. We'll have to see how we get there. <clears throat> uh, I had a thought, but I lost it already again. Uh, yeah, it, um, it, still got it in time. Okay. He just keeps throwing grenades in the same two spots. <clears throat> okay, now I got it again. Uh, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. uh, if this game were to be remade in modern, uh, with modern tech, I think... A bit unsure if I'd want it to have manual aiming or lock on aiming, or maybe a, have it be a toggle or something. Let's see. I mean, I think it good. To... Is that a cricket on the hint? In... <laughs> no, that's not a cricket. It's a machete. Nah, it's a bit sharper than that. Okay, I think it is pointing to specific switches. Actually, you should something. I have seen cricket bats a few times in movies and such. Yeah. But I've only seen it maybe once or twice used as it's supposed to be used. A lot of times I see it as an improvised weapon. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, it just doesn't do any damage there, it seems. Or, or we've just been extremely lucky every time we pass through that. <clears throat> Good question. Uh, for you. I can feel like I should go for you due to you being in a minecart and the machete on your back. Yes, I saw the axe for a moment. Wait, it's all the way over there. We're, we just left there. A bonk. And there goes the nose. Okay, why is it over oh, that's pointing up that's pointing at the bit of the track where we have the, the cart parked just now. So I So I'm not stopping because the it seems that the the, the grenades seem to be a bit off when they throw them. Like they will go off after a time. But Okay, now it's pointing over there. They also seem to go off if they make contact with you. So, a mixed contact and timed yeah, detonator. Oh, I used to remember one of the other games we put to stream uh, in Steam Theater. Uh, that one from the Earth, was it? Yeah. Uh, I'm still test running the game because it isn't... 
it isn't really that easy, or at least the fan patched version isn't. So I'm going to try, I'm going to install the uh, original uh, disc version because I have physical copies of Battle for Middle Earth 1 and 2. Is the game just glitching with the map or something? So, so yeah, I, <clears throat> I'm going to do that to see if the fan patched version is just has the difficulty balanced upwards because I, I can't get past the Helm's Deep level. And it would be awkward if we got there and just got stuck. Yeah. Hmm. We have had moments in, in some games where we actually got stuck for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, can we actually... No, we can't. There is something up there, but I have no freaking clue of how to get there. It's, does the map offer any hints? It connects to there. But it also connects to... Wait, do we have to do it? Do we have to go backwards again? Um, hmm. That's okay. possible. Uh, let's get back to the minecart, but I'll have to call a quick BRB. So, yeah. Okay. Timer. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, I probably really should look at getting a bit of music commissioned or something for BRBs, because otherwise it's just a, a load of silence if there's no music of the game. Do you but think I... there's... Um... You guys think there's... I don't know. Is the girl from Ipanema, like, uh, on the... Uh, what's the word... Public domain. Yeah, there are public domain um, music. We used one. We used one of those tracks for a while as an outro song. I don't think it ever got played, but I could look around there again for something that loops nicely. But for now, I'll have to bail before I, this gets painful. All right. And off he runs off the table. <laughs> oh, really, no, Glacier you are. You're gonna make me behave. I just want to do that. Wait, what? Nah, I just wanted to do that for a second. Do what? Never mind. I feel like something is flying over my head, metaphorically. Uh. You mean more like that? Got myself another drink. And for once, I could say that drink normally, and that did not suddenly turn Scottish. So be right back as well. So I will really leave room to call the minecart. Sorry, I'm kind of sleepy. I think I'm gonna go. You tell Hillian good luck with the game. For me, I'll just, uh... I'll be around later. Have a good night. Oh, be well, Brom, and thank you for joining. You're welcome. Have a good night. Rest well.
There you go. Back in my drink. And now the viewers are stuck with me. Oh, that emoji is so tiny. I, I see it only as a face, but I don't know what kind of face it is. I don't know if you're horrified or laughing at me. Fear, yes, you should fear me. I am the fearsome first mate, Drakir. Uh, I have to stretch myself a little bit. Feeling a bit stiff. Do not as stiff as you should feel. Because I should think and you share for that. Yeah, he should be here at any moment. <laughs> oh, you're not alone. I've been, I am, I've been tempting to do that uh, when we stream that game. Problem is, I don't know how happy my neighbors would be. And it's probably good for me to not blow out the viewers or Hillion's eardrums out. <laughs> I almost be tempted sometimes. Though I don't have bad neighbors. I guess you could say I have at least been renounced and be some years back.
Okay, I'm back. And, and thank you, Ron, for That's how Helium sure. lost his leg to Orca. You know I have the Bluetooth headset, right? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You, you were in the bathroom? Uh, <clears throat> I, do, I do need to keep an ear on you, after all. <laughs> uh, it's not like there's any chance of it falling in. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Ram, for showing up a bit late. But uh, yeah, it's appreciated all the same. Now, what the fuck were you two talking about? I'm seeing boys, and I saw something about Wog. Uh, yeah, he, he, they said uh, when, when we stream Dawn of War, they may come up in, come in chat the screen Wog. All right. Let's check if we can back up onto the other track. Let's see. Hi, Alien. I was good. Ricky was bad. <laughs> Snitch. Oh, the betrayal. Okay, we're not getting onto the other track from here. Uh, hmm. Come look another way. Oh, I have, a, I have another friend that is eager to watch us play Doom, Dawn of War, and Batman, and... Yeah, he said something similar about the spamming in chat. We said to him, "Yeah, he, he's allowed to mean, but maybe not necessarily spam." Yeah, uh, I think the the chat bot that we do have, even though it doesn't act often, is set uh, or was set to uh, ban people or not ban, but mute people at the very least if they were to spam stuff. Not sure if it's still active. Let's see. Why is it pointing over there specifically? Is it being in a pointing to a general area? Because I haven't seen a thing of where we could actually use those gems or that key. Hmm. It's also okay. this place. This doesn't seem to have a use for us at the moment. Okay, maybe let's return there and take a closer look. I feel we're missing something there. Probably. Uh, <clears throat> also, something I probably should have said earlier. Our, our current side game that we play is Guacamelee. Or, <clears throat> or be specific, it was Guacamelee Gold Edition. But I found out that apparently that was not the definitive, the definitive edition as I thought it was. Because, well, it has a more upgraded version of it. And, yeah. I played up... I bought that one. And I played up to the point where we were. Though there was a, an area added into the game. Between the desert and... Uh, well, when Flameface... Uh, Get, when we find faint flame face in the uh, in the bar and getting to the desert there's a new area there because instead of just heading off he actually makes a blockade that we have to go around through in the new area so yeah I, I recorded most of the different stuff and I am almost where we were last time so yeah, we will be able to return from the same place. I'll just upload the new area as a as a bonus video of sorts. I did I did miss a small amount, a small bit, like at the very start of the game. There is a scene that uh, where <clears throat> in the, where Kalaka kills one. There is a small change, as in a new character that walks in. Like, hi guys, what did we miss? Quite literally saying that. That was a visual glitch. Now it's over there. Okay, the map is being weird. Um, but yeah, like 99% of what is actually added in. Uh, between that, I did get the, I did get the report. Yeah, that's so that gets out to be a bit more of a YouTube special in this case. Yeah, it isn't too long either. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, 
Uh, also, something I wish, I, something I wanted to ask earlier, and now it's showing over here. Uh, was the ramp audible enough on your end, uh, Glacier? Yes. Well, sometimes I fear that uh, the audio balancing on stream might be a little bit off. He sounded very fine to me. Dude, again, uh, it might be due to I've been raising his volume on my end. Yeah. Let's see. Is it, is it just pointing to wherever we park the minecart or something? Let's see if I get out here now. No, it still points to that room. Okay, I'm very obviously missing something. I don't want to have to look it up again because I'll have to sort through like a mountain of step-by-step uh, -step instructions to get to where we are at the moment. Let's see. All right, this was really all good. Okay. Now it's pointing that. I think it is trying to be like a step-by-step -step hint system, sort of. Okay. Forgot about the bars. Can we actually... Yes, we can. Okay. Let's have another trauma kit down in our throat. Okay. Anything around here? We've been in there. We've gotten that done. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like we need to look it up for... We've been stuck on this for a while now. Yeah, I think the map is trying to point us to where we need to go. Actually... Uh, now, isn't that where we just were? That big red outlined area? I th Pretty sure that is across the broken part. Hmm. It, it, it looks like it's pointing at the minecart it's held where it lands at times. Oh, oh, this. Okay, wait. Okay, I must have forgotten something around here then, but okay. I'm guessing this is where we need to use the key and such. Yeah, that is just where we found an extra. I, I don't recognize this. Yeah, we were here last stream about. Stoy. But, Bad position. I, I think this was blocked off. Oh, oh. This, yeah, the, the, damn it. The, the moment I put that thing away. Oh, right. That may need that the uh, onk ruby. Yeah, this is where that, that strange key is going, I'm pretty sure, since it match, matches the shape. Yeah, the Eye of Horus. Oh, okay. Alright. It's unlocked. Okay, now we can get to some yeah, some places. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, with Guacamele, we'll continue with the more recent version once we get to that. Well, well, look at this. Okay, so this is where these go. It fits. Do I wonder, would it be better to just start off with you or currently in the new version since you know what to do this time uh, we would have to go through the we would have to go through some of the old areas again though yeah but we don't know know where they put down all the new stuff either uh, well there was the part that I already went through and I haven't seen the new stuff that after work. that Oh, wait, what? There's a green one as well? 
Uh, hmm. Okay. And I'm guessing the blue one goes in the top at the middle. Yes. Okay. Huh. Where the hell are we supposed to find a green gem then? Yeah, but I guess the green one is to make it this one go higher. Now, I think once we put that in that the arm gets extended up there so we can use the crystal to hover upwards with the with this one. Okay, it actually comes down with us, so we don't have to try and find a different way to climb up it. That's nice. Right? More, more reason for me to think that the, the green one might help uh, raise the blue one. Hmm. Yeah, my, my money is on the arm of the statue extending so we can use the floating crystal. Oh, well, but we'll have to see where to well, even find left, that thing then. But if you left your money there, what stops me from grabbing it? <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the X moved to that area now. So, is it just changing every time we do a circle or after a certain amount of time? on it in case it changes. Yeah, I'm I'm really at a loss as to where we can still find new things. We've been through the water and I think we've got most of not everything we could down there. Gets to play with his grenades again. The water room was very blue. Yeah, the, the, the colors change depending on the <clears throat> height compared to, to where we are, with yellow being even with us. Oh, I, I meant more like the room itself was a bit very bluish with the colors and the water. Okay. So, I wonder if that's supposed to hint that. This is the area of the blue stone or something. Hmm. If we already have the blue stone. Oh. Oh, yeah. Of the green that? one that we need to find somewhere. And it's. Whilst we're doing another round then, actually, let's stop here for a moment. There is that side area that we haven't been to for a bit, and the X has moved to the next door. Where the hell is it trying to send us? Let's give four a swap. So we go around the entire outside again. Maybe there's something that way that I've missed. Anyways, getting back into this thing, sending it forwards, and I'll just start looking up. Uh, keep looking up in case of bars. Indiana Jones. Okay. I'm at the moment I look away. Okay, what should we do? You. Okay, that's a change. That's well, not my being why it's being pointed as a It's trying to tell you to get on the minecart. Yeah, well, it was 
it was pointing to the switches earlier as to when we needed to swap them, but it didn't this time. Hmm. Okay, still good, of, still good for me to try and check out that area. Um, yeah, now we can go there, stop, and get rid of them, and look around in the water there. Yeah. A bit annoying that it required us to take a specific path to get through, or to get all of that. But oh well. All games and their, <laughs> their scene triggers and such. Let's hope that there aren't too many more of those. Oop. Just like how <laughs> we can hope that there aren't too many more of those around. Oh, they, they dropped the bazookas. Okay, thank you. Some more firepower. Let's try to dodge roll. Yeah, there's one more of you here. Okay. Grab the guns. I did more see guns. that bazooka down there. So many guns and ammo. Yeah, it's, it's no wonder that uh, Dr. Firepower. Jones explodes when he comes into contact with lava. <laughs> okay, <laughs> was a bit um, glitchy. Let's... Uh, ah, this way. Hmm. Where is this going to lead us? And I hope I'm not missing any air pockets. Because it's been a bit since we've saved. Ah, there we go. Oh, wait. Here? Did a new area get yeah. blasted open or something? I don't know it might be another path down there. Yeah, that, that's my guess as well, that they've opened up an area somewhere around here. <laughs> His pockets are a mobile weapon store, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the way we just came? Yes, it is. Okay. So, was all of that decoration or something, or are we overlooking? A thing. Yeah, we, we we already had access to this room here. Did it just open up a shortcut? Where's um, the exits over there yet again? Might be a shortcut need for something. Hmm, we can't climb back out here, so we'll have to go around. Uh, and... We'll say though that the textures here does make it slightly hard to spot if there's a second path here. Yeah, we have this here again, but once again we have nothing here that can help at the moment. I'm pretty sure. Wait. Hmm. Can we climb those tombs? Yeah, they're too far apart, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Is there a passageway here that I've completely missed each time? E oh no, this was blasted open. Okay, which lets us get to here. Okay, so it wasn't just fluff. It would okay. have been odd because each time so far we've had cinematics like that happen, it did do something to help us get along. To get around at the very least. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, Dr. Jones is not going to get along with his Russian opposition here at the moment. Oh dear. And there's the blasted gem. 
Any traps? Nope. Okay, there's all of that. Are you typically the one who says that it belongs in a museum, Dr. Jones? <laughs> it's literally what? one of your catchphrases, or at least what happened to the audio? Hmm? I can't hear the game anymore. I can hear you, but not the game. You can't hear it swapping like this. Nope, I was able to hear it before. What, what happened? Okay. Uh, let me do a save. That's a first, I think. 13.5. That... Hmm. Like, you can't hear the ambience or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Uh, oh. What the... How, how did that get muted? It was muted in OBS. The heck? Did I accidentally hear hit a shortcut for that or something? Uh, he, even even they confirmed the game volume was gone. Okay, maybe from pressing M too much or something? Maybe. Like, uh, hmm. you've been still able to hear us speak, right? Let me actually. Let me actually. Te uh, let me test something somewhere else. Yeah, I, I can hear the game finally again. Okay. If I press the BRB button. Okay, that didn't mute the sound. It removed this or it disabled the sound source entirely. So it wasn't that. Hmm. Okay, this odds. Okay, I must have luckily, hit something. Good news, Ilian. He was able to hear us speak all the time, but just the game volume button was gone. Yeah. Which is odd so, because there's no buttons that I have at the moment for just muting the game. I have well, I have a button for that, but I don't have it on the stream deck on this page of it. So I don't know what the hell happened there. Yeah, it, it may happen sometime after the explosion. Hmm. Okay. It, it means it didn't mute Ow. us. Oh, that would be annoying, and the game has some titles as well. So it's not too bad a situation, just kind of glad that I noticed it in time. Yeah. Hmm. I, I might need to move the audio bars over to the... more, to, more over to the right than in OBS. Because at the moment they're the left... Over to the left, they are still taking up a large amount of space. Yeah, uh, they are. Uh, actually, we know not. We don't need to be here. It's over there that we need to be. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll move those to see if I can get them into a spot where I have a bit more sight on them. our stop. Let's see. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Hmm? Did I re... I forgot to restart the timer. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, uh, well. We can go uh, five, ten minutes past our typical stopping time, so 40 minutes from now. That sounds good to me. Hmm. Okay, now this is going to raise the moment we step up. Yep. It even keeps us into place. Whilst it is, so we can't actually so we can't accidentally run off 
and have it come down again. <clears throat> okay. Give you a beautiful green eye. There. And yeah. And now we should be able to use that certain device to get up there. Yep. And what I was trying there was I was trying to see if I could actually jump up to grab that little ledge above. Sure you were, sure. You were still just trying to show off. Oh, hello, there's something else on the pillar, it seems. So I'm guessing the moment we put this one in here... It's going up even further. Well, that ought to do it. There we go. And a switch. A switch to do what, though? So can we get back into this? Yep, we can. We just need to be near one of the crystals. Now, what do you do? Elevator down. Okay. There should be no way in hell for the Russians to follow us down here. Hello. And end of level. Okay. There we go. Still got plenty of cash, and we have a, a lot of ammo. 86 auto pistol, 280 submachine gun, 160 you know, rifle rounds, 286 millimeter, and a bit less of those. 12 rockets. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The secret map, the moment that we buy that and leave, that is when the the level starts. So we'll leave that for the end or close to the end. <clears throat> for now, let, let's get some blasted poison kits. There we go. We still have plenty after. And Famous lost words. <laughs> Nob's tomb. <laughs> Now we have a Babylon sense, Dindy. <laughs> You're already cheating with a spider sense. But apparently you don't have a snake sense. And again, you have something called ears, so that should be enough to figure out where the blasted things are. There's a passage behind there. Two, actually. But let's see what is up here first. Some health kits. Is there a okay, we actually can't get any higher than this. Okay. Just being careful, since if we fall too far, we'll die instantly. Can we? Probably not. Nope, just at the reach. Okay. So we have to climb up to get over that. Checking for snakes that way. Alright. I don't think I remember a thing about this level. Like, nothing at all. So... <clears throat> this is probably going to be as fresh for me as it is for you. Oh dear. I what have we here? Here. First aid. Well, he went out with a headache. It, oh, she. now I see what... Oh, come on. Like, of all things it lands to on is his head. Was it not like just entire body or No, it just, just landed only on his head. 
It reminds me actually of. Uh, <clears throat> it reminds me actually of a, s a skeleton I think what that was found in. Uh, uh, what was the place with the volcano called again? Um, the one that was completely you... covered with ash and such. Uh... What a way to narrow it down. Well done. That's uh, the, the infamous juice. one that the infamous one that was uh, uh, preserved because of the ash. Are you talking about uh, Pompeii? Pompeii, yeah. Uh, there, there was a one skeleton found there that was found with its head underneath a boulder, and not even a big thing. Like, uh, <clears throat> if you were called up, uh, that size boulder. Uh, you, uh, yeah, people for the longest time presumed that it was the boulder to the heads that killed them. But oop, it wanted to just climb down. Uh, from what people have, from what I've heard, supposedly uh, they died from another cause, or they likely died from another cause, and that the boulder just landed there after. Though it, it is still a funnier to think that someone got you. Got freaking Looney Tuned by a boulder as they tried to escape a volcano. It sounds more like a volcano had this, something against the person. Imagine that uh, Pompeii happening entirely because one guy was a dick to the volcano god. Oh, good gods. Yes. Uh I accidentally made a pawn due to how I used to say things. I saw you there. Dude, I did not see you, but I still got the draw on you. Coin? Hmm. What? Dropping an ancient wishing well. The, the way he said. Um, it sounded like he found chocolate coins or something. Like, indeed, don't eat them. And wait, hey, actually, ain't gold poisoning a thing? I am pretty sure it is. Yeah, like I know some cases where people, uh, well, not gold poisoning exactly from that, but when you know those cases where people have been painted their entire, had their entire body painted, I know that can cause uh, a poisoning. But that's more because the the paint is just covering everything and kind of uh, suffocating the body's pores. Uh, you mean uh, the lead paint? And not just lead, I think. Just any kind of. Hmm. Okay, this doesn't work. Yeah, and okay. Let's see from Glacier Boy. Vorkan had a tantrum that day. Who or what are you? The doorman, I'll bet. Missing an arm, though, huh? Hmm. We've got the symbol for this part here. This thing's arm is missing. Okay. We need to. We can get to play surgeon again for a moment, then. Where is that thing's arm, then? There's a gap here. Let's see. This way. Yeah, for some coins. Hey. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Finishing up. Uh, it has been a while since I've heard it. And I'm not sure if it is entirely true or not. But supposedly they didn't die from the boulder. <laughs> but then again, when you're dealing with deaths like hundreds of years old. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a cold case that's never going to get solved. <laughs> oh, there, there, there are usually some ways to figure out. However, since it was involved with a volcano, then there's a lot of ways they could have died before the boulder hit them. Yeah. Though I don't think it really counts as a cold case if a volcano is involved. <laughs> I guess it's true. And it's real or something. Now mm -hmm. we're talking about. There's a. I. I think 
think there are ice volcanoes on all the planets? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've heard of those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, hmm. the, the, nothing else that you don't feel, like, usually a volcano is bloody hot, but there are exceptions. I think those things blast carbon monoxide or dioxide or something. And why is there a marker here? I'm unsure. All I know is you probably don't want to be near it. Yeah. Well, you're, it's going to give you the cold shoulder. Uh, oh, come on. And the, the cold arm, the cold leg, torso maybe as well. Oh, good gods. There's wind escaping through here somewhere. And that's because they... It's not a wall, it's a tapestry. Gotta find a way to push it, since it is a bit picky about that at times. Okay. Oh, so we... No, of course. Aha. Okay. Nice little not... use of the trope of the... Uh, wind whistling through something to show a hidden place. Yeah, though, why do we need a machete? Can we just push the thing aside? Yeah, but we could have done that as well with all of the vines that we've been cutting. The game just isn't have... programmed to handle or something like that. <laughs> I guess, but still, bloody hell. The shoes have a slight lag spike there. I thought you were, you were about to fall down. Ooh. Okay, speaking of falling down, you can do it voluntarily. And a storeroom of sorts. I had a feeling something was going to drop. <clears throat> oh, you can cut it. What is this thing? Oh, we can push this. Uh, no, because no Dr. Jones hate tapestries? Wait, is that a thing? I don't think so, since they typically... Ooh. Get up. Since they typically hold a lot of story about history and such. Okay, I thought it was I thought this one was going to drop as well. Let's have a quick peek down here. Yep, that's pretty much a death drop, I think. Okay, can we pull you any further? I guess we can. It's okay, it's just scraping along the metal. One more, and we can get around. I have been in that room, that bullet infuriate me so much, that sound. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, snake. Okay, I did not expect it to start spinning. And I probably should have, yeah, saved. <laughs> Oh, dear. Ah, well, we know what to do now. Those dreams were shattered here. I sense King Nub's Babylonian presence. Okay. Nub. Just... Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking of orcs, aren't you? No, actually not in this case. True. What? <laughs> this... <laughs> yeah, nothing you... really, but it just it just it just amuses me, like an uh, Egyptian uh, temple and all of that stuff, and then you cut to the king, and it's a fucking orc. Oh, good gods! I could see that happen. Just a very, very confused orc from 40k. Oh, good gosh. But yeah, 
I'm pretty sure I heard knob used as an insult. Yeah, or at least in British, yeah, the, the Brits sometimes call people a knob. Like doorknob uh, or such. Uh, th th that means something very... That's a sign for something very specific. I have yeah, recently learned. I'm, I'm pretty sure, or what I believe, <clears throat> what I think to know that it means is that it's just a different word for dick. Yeah, a specific part of it. Uh, tip. Yeah. I only learned that recently, some week ago. But knob, N-O-B, is uh, more of a... I think, uh, I think there's another way to say new, but also. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ellers. Did I just go a bit swinglish there by accident? I think. Uh, Eller means. Yep. Or. There we go. There. Okay. This time we save before we start to step onto the fancy uh, flooring. Yeah, let's see. From Glacier Boy, Groundhog Day. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, from the repeats. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, definitely one thing that would need to re be improved with a remake of this game is that you can be the ability to pull blocks continuously until you can't move instead of having to pull it once at a time. <clears throat> oh, there's actually a bar down there and a snake, of course. Is there a way to get in there? Clearly there is supposed to be since there's a treasure. Okay. 14.1 and get up there we go okay a bit of unexpected bit of physics in this game for the nintendo 64 era of gaming yeah not that there wasn't any sort like that it's still surprising to see. And yes, we couldn't yeah. climb up the ladder because the ladder was broken part way through. I think <laughs> it was during that era people have started to experiment with it. And some were success and some were disastrously annoying. Let's see, where did we end up now? Okay, we're now at the start. We're at the start area, but now we're on the right side. And apparently there was snakes in there the entire time. I had to there say, shooting snakes from that distance with a pistol? Nope. Not bad. <laughs> Been a bit since we've heard that sound bite. See, I'm surprised we haven't heard that one so much. And now we have a shortcut. Now what? Let's see. Did we get anything along the way? No. Hmm. Okay, the map is pointing us towards that throne room. I think after the stream, I'm going to look up speedruns of this game to see how fast people can get to you know, through everything. There's probably some glitches that can get uh, a bunch of skips or something, as they're called. Which, well, the name says <clears throat> the name says it all, basically. Sounds concerning. Oh, uh, and what are you? The doorman, I'll bet. Missing an arm, though, huh? Uh, is, I just realized something here we should be concerned about. And that is... We haven't seen this area's monster yet. Or monsters. Yeah. 
like we, we've had like three for three so far. We've had an ice elemental, we've had a lava elemental, we've had a, a big old rope and nope rope. Yeah, the, the nope rope was more of the, the boss of that area. It almost ran into the pit. And we do remember there were weird sounds in the beginning oh, oh. of these levels. Okay. In the other pyramids. It's not a death pit, it's a snake pit. Hey, that all of them? That's all of them. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought this was I thought this was an, a bottomless pit because of the coloration. Uh, yeah, I was a bit skeptical, but I thought well, my I just well trust him. <clears throat> yes. Hmm. Uh, I very much doubt that it will be a spider that will get the fight. It would somewhat fit with, well, the previous one was a snake and we've been fighting snake critters and spiders. And scorpions, but a lot of eggs, so many snakes and spiders. Let's see, is there a side passage here? So, actually, let's be honest, it's going to be mobbies. It wouldn't be too surprising. No. Wait, did we did we miss an entire freaking amphitheater whilst we passed through here? What? There's a room on the side here. Did we completely miss that? Possibly. Like the big one. This shape and the fact that those lines makes me think that it might have been an amphitheater at some point. Uh, yeah, we we went straight forwards here. We missed this. Holy! Falling for you, Fox. Let's see, I, th I think I might have said hey. it before, but I, I think the distance plays a role in how damage is calculated in this game. Okay. Like to sort of simulate bullet drop off or something. It is a guess. But it would explain why we've sometimes needed to de de needed a different amount of bullets to take something out. I guess that would kind of make sense. There is something up there. So how do we get to it? We can probably borrow that arm. Actually, can we climb onto this? Hmm. If the button wasn't there, we would be able to. Let me take a look. Well, I think we found <laughs> the seat of honor. Can we... Yeah, that, that is probably way, way too far from here. Still worth a shot. A bad shot, but still. Yeah, there. Is any of these going to hold a whip spot or something? We can't wall jump or anything like that. Yeah... I was to say we could wall jump, but this is not Prince of Persia. Oh dear. And hmm. yeah, people would probably revolt if they saw <laughs> if they saw Indiana Jones doing parkour. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, a bit sneaky to just have one of these alcoves with it, but oh well. It, da, da, da. All right, now we just hop across. Huh? Indiana Jones, archaeological frog. Oh, come on. <clears throat> it's been a long ass time since I've played any sort of frogger game. Like, literal decades, I think. Yeah, I haven't played them those in decades, and I'd rather not do it again. <laughs> yeah, it can be pretty infuriating. Let's see. Why is it pointing? Yeah, I forgot we. <laughs> I forgot we can go into fisticuffs mode. Um. Okay, we can go. We can go fist fighting with zero as well. Uh, minus and plus don't do anything, it seems. Okay, we need to get to that arm. For that, we need to get to that platform there. Let's see if we can drop down to it safely. First, I'm going to put down the save just in case. We're here. Okay. Stop gap to I save. I might be able to whip that thing. <laughs> Little stop gap to preserve Doctor Jones's uh, oop, oh, ankles. That came. Aha! A mechanical arm. Wait. How heavy might that not be? Not too heavy, apparently. So, any responses, this Doctor Jones? Nope. Oh, it is a throw. Now then. I thought for more you may have mistaken a mechanical device nope. for a throne. That's a different uniform. Don't think we've seen the full green yet. Oop. So they found a way in now. Yeah, they they probably heard of the grinding noising the noises of the obelisk going up and down. Hmm. Have I just been Russian? seeing their uniforms off different is it wrong or something? Hey, oh. say, did, was it Russian or German he spoke? I'm pretty sure they're speaking Russian mostly. Stoy. Yep. Oh, okay, that's Russian, yeah. I guess Russian and German can sound alike. It's because they typically have a bit of an aggressive sound to them. It would... Oh, come on. Now the wildlife and the Russians are teaming up with on me. Oh, come on. Good thing that I got more of those. Okay, give me that. I, yeah, I was wondering where the, Rus the, Ru the Russians, the Russians, went to. But it went here, apparently. Yeah, I'm guessing the obelisk went back up uh, when one of them approached it. <clears throat> and from there they found the, the switch and they sent people down in batches from there. No. Anyone else? Want a high rep? Want the rapid fire welcome? Anubis arm, okay. Sit. 
Open sesame. Yep. Okay, I was half expecting it to just vanish or something. Yep. Only. Uh, hello. Oh. Okay, Hello. automatons. Did you ever ask? Hell, what the heck was that? Explosive, <laughs> but also very dead now. Snakes again. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to keep an eye out on them. And here I thought I could put this thing away because we wouldn't have to deal with the Russians for a bit until they catch up again. Let's see. We need a key for that there. So where are we going to find that? I heard that sound again. It sounds a bit like whale song. Yeah, I very so... much think we'll find whales down here. Am I right to believe that the, the automatons are not the only things down here? Probable. Let's see. That is colored differently. Is that going to collapse? Staircase, and there he is. Okay, come on. <laughs> Apparently it's on a timer. Yeah, he, he's suggesting he's making the noises. <laughs> oh. I'll take that. What have See, we someone here? Someone was able to sneak into here. Medical kit. Oh come on! See <laughs> who that's me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think you want to read the chat one when you can, Hill. Found a whale. <laughs> and he ran off. Yeah. Okay, now it's a chase. I don't actually need to go grab these, but... Uh, just in case. Gamer's instinct, just grab all the goodies. Uh, oh, that's... He hit this button. There we go. Okay, now we need to get to the parts before he gets to it. Rotation pad to get back out. Hmm. Dr. Volodnikov! Bonjour. But What's Volodnikov up to now? Is that Russian for yoink? There, there you are. That back here, you. Where did he? Are you just he running circles? Turn the wind. Never mind. You're going to tire out eventually. You're going to do it sooner than Indy will.
Get over here. He's just going to roadrunner his way around all the time. Right? Hello. I can call you. don't see how this is going to help us get that cog back and I, I don't think he actually had any, I don't think he actually had any plan beyond oh shit oh shit <laughs> he's going to kill me why would we want to move that actually we can push it further still or, or not or, or, okay why did it not respond the first time there any further hmm. do we need to chase him in here or something uh, that might be it for he can't levitate up without your device there you were get your daily fitness in Find a way to chase him in here first. And hmm. come on, this place is sealed off, and I'm the only one here with a gun. We can go with this. Nope. Nope. We can pull this. But what will that do? We can't pull it on we can't pull it over there. Anything behind it? Doesn't look like it. He doesn't go in here, though. So what is the point? See, it has the same mark as the one on the floor. He has no real reason to go in there. As long as you can just keep going up the stairs, this. Is the map showing his current location? Where are you? Are you running into the room now? Is he just stalking after us? Vladnikov, now I've got you. Don't shoot, it's only a bronze gear. You can have it. Aha. Not sure how we did that, actually. Like, we didn't block his parts. Oop. We didn't block well, his parts outwards around here. I guess it moved for from uh, that. Uh, Whenever you got down there, he couldn't see you, so... Uh, yeah, he went there where he thought he could hide. Maybe, yeah. Okay. I don't think that's the right answer. Yeah, you literally saw him pull this thing from the air. That won't work. Okay. So this is a big ass gear here. Yeah. It does look it does look a bit superfluous. 
triple fluid is? I don't okay. think that's the right answer. Unneeded there, since the other gears are turning without it. Unless it's supposed to turn something very heavy? Let's see, map points here. We don't actually even see if there is a mechanism that it is affecting or not. Hmm. Or is it just being picky or something? Hmm. Again. He might be it being picky. We saw him remove it from there, after all. True. Also, where the hell did he run off now? Did he but get back up here? Ladder. I'm guessing the ladder is new that the Russian threw it down. A rope ladder. Yeah, so he could escape. Mm, yeah, and without I... that, he would have been trapped here completely. Also, I think was. we are going a, a bit more overtime than planned. Uh, yeah, that actually wasn't keeping track. Uh, let's see if we can figure this thing out. That won't work. Hmm. I don't think that's the right answer. What is... What are... Where do we put this thing down? We need to use it somewhere else? That is the guess I have. Though, where else is there to use it? Yellow means the same height, so we need to do something down here. Can we pull you any further? Yes, we can. Don't really see the need of these blocks either. There's nothing here. There's nothing on the other side. Yeah, I'm confused. Is it? I think it might still be on a hint for how to catch up with Velotnikov. That is about how we said it, Velotnikov. Think so? Let's see, if we pull this thing, is it going to move with it? Yes, it is. What? What is so special about this block here? Is it magnetic? I don't think so. I don't think there was anything upstairs that needed a gear. That we know of yet. Also, I'm guessing that cutscene probably would have had a mirrored version if we pulled this thing to block this passage. I... So he must have felt pretty stupid for letting himself be cornered that easily. He could have just yeah. yakking sacked our uh, asses around this place for hours. <laughs> What is with that specific block? Or does it need to be put back in place for some reason? Let's Maybe. Try it. I don't see what the difference it would make. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to figure this out next time then. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 14.3. And whilst the world song is going on, let's head on out. Okay. Good amount of progress this time. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we're, <laughs> we're getting 
<clears throat> we're getting a uh, Babylon. Come on. Screen share turn off here. Or not screen share. The... Oh, right. It didn't respond last time. So the, there must be something off with Stream Deck, like a command that got fumbled or something. <clears throat> okay, just, just turn it off manually. Uh, and we head on over here. Because before we end the stream, I, I said over here. There we go. Before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So let me move over the screen share or change the window to, let's see, at Twitch. Okay. Screen share, Twitch, go live, even though we already are. <clears throat> let's have a look. You can see it? I can see. Okay. Uh, we have Live Crow who's streaming against the storm. That is a new uh, city builder, I believe. Yeah, you see the, some uh, the, some of these people been streaming uh, back and forth. Yeah. And then we have Sour Walrus who is streaming Elden Ring. The Lag Storm is streaming Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. That's the one we rated last time, I believe. Oh yeah. Uh, Crane so is streaming Deep Rock. Uh, All right. Shema is streaming Sea of Thieves. Kirinatsuyoko is again, we're still on Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And actually, yeah, last time they were streaming Project Zomboids. <clears throat> Kanai is streaming Bone Razor Minions. Let's actually have a peek at that. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Okay, I thought I saw heard I thought I heard what I thought I heard the beginning of an argument or something downstairs, but, but no, there was just uh, a happy raise of the voice. <clears throat> <laughs> and then we have well after Kanai, we have Karenai, who is streaming Limbus Company again. I still have absolutely no clue what this game is supposed to be. It looks like that the library of something sequel or follow up to a lobotomy company. Uh, might be another follow-up to that, I think. I have absolutely no idea. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, shall we rate any of those, or shall we look for someone else among the recommended channels? Hmm. I see the recommended ones, and uh, a bit unsure there. Let's see. I'm thinking Life Grow, since I am a bit curious about this game. Yeah, I've seen a bit of it. It, it seems interesting. From I, uh, I don't want to say it's similar to They Are Billions, because I, uh, the, I'm pretty sure there are no zombies involved, it, at least probably at first. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I think They Are Billions might be more less incredible. I think there are some more Hostile forces, but not anywhere to that degree. Yeah, it's it's like a yeah, it, it's a city builder with fantasy adventure aspects of it. From yeah. what I from li what little I've known, so yeah, we just copy their name slash rate, paste it in. Uh, but before we start the rate, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Glacier Boy, for hanging around and chatting along some. And uh, <clears throat> once again, I thank you to Ram Royal for joining us for a bit. And uh, yeah, I I do want to stream uh, God, not God of War, <laughs> Gears of War with them at some point. <clears throat> we'll just have to see where we can fit it in and such. And I'll I'll have to buy most of the games as well. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be looking out for those on discounts because I'm a yeah, cheap they're... ass. Is it a, that that will probably not be a main or yeah it would probably not even be a side quest. Not getting called so. Uh, uh yeah we'll we'll see about that. We'll first have to finish up binary domain of course. And yeah. thank you as always, Drakio. You're welcome as always, my friend. And let's just start this raid before they start. <clears throat> okay, this channel has. 
follower or subscriber only chat. Okay, that is nice to know ahead of time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, another stream possibly t tonight in about two and a half hours. And yeah, other than that, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for spiders and scorpions. <laughs> and uh, Babylonian automatons. Ha, 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 ha.